So you know what happen when companies do not listen to their customers and just keep doing what allows them to be in their own comfort zone. The growth that they showed in the previous years which was meant to help them acquire a stable position in the market forever just falls apart like this. The same thing happened with companies like HTC, Sony and LG in the past few years and the fall was so crucial that it looks like they have kicked a never ending recession period for their own. These firms were some of the most innovative companies at a time but for some bullshit reasons they stopped adopting the trend and if they did it was in the most horrible way possible. For instance, LG introduced the G7 ThinQ with a notched display because at that time every other manufacturer except Samsung was trying to imitate Apple's approach for iPhone X which wasn't bad at all but the notch on the G7 ThinQ had a bezel of its own. So what was the point of including it in the first place when it wasn't promising a substantial increase in screen to body ratio? And even if we had the guts to deal with it, what about pricing and this confusing branding? LG and the whole tech community knew that the maker messed it up badly and instead of learning from this mistake, they kind of repeated it with the G8 ThinQ that again didn't do well in the market. The only hope that still keeps LG going in the right direction is they're not lacking resources. You see unlike HTC, Nokia and Sony up to a certain extent, LG has everything that can possibly help them to make a powerful return in the market. It's just that they need to know where they stand and what's the next opportunity the company is ready for. After a very long time, LG has made it perfectly clear that they will not compete with Samsung, Apple or Huawei, instead they'll focus on the upper mid-range gap and will try to fit in. A few days back there was this report saying LG G9 won't have flagship offerings, instead it will come with upper mid-range Snapdragon 765G processor which is of course snappy and promising but it's not a flagship processor like Snapdragon 865. Honestly nobody gave a crap about it because LG G9 still looks outdated but things have changed since then. A couple of days before LG published an article on their official website where they revealed the design strategy for their upcoming phone. Today we have some more official info regarding it and it looks like LG has finally learned from their mistakes. First up, they are calling it the LG Velvet which to be honest sounds much better than the usual numeric kind of naming. I just hope they don't add ThinQ to the name for some bullshit reasons. And secondly, they have a different perspective of design this time. As you can see the back of the phone features a raindrop style camera with smaller lenses and LED flash below the larger one. They are also showing off the 3D arc design with curved glass on the front as well as on the back and according to some renders there will be a hole in display tag instead of the infamous notch so this absolutely works for me. Now about this report it seems like LG Velvet will be an upper mid range device and as long as it does not play with pricing numbers and sit somewhere between 600 to 650 dollars or 42,000 to 50,000 rupees it hits the sweet spot. That said I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Oh, <laughs>